thank you for watching Mom Time. I hope you enjoyed this video on 4th of July games. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe for weekly content. Our first game is the Flag Relay Race. To make your Flag Relay Race, you will need two patriotic pals and small flags, and then something to weigh the pals down and also keep the fla flags secure so that they don't flop on the ground. We use small rocks from the Dollar Tree. To make this game, have your uh, party goers uh, pair off into teams of two or larger and have uh, them each take turns taking one flag from one pal to another and time each team to see who can complete the relay race the quickest. Our next game is the watermelon eating contest. For this game, you will need watermelon and a food scale. You will need to weigh each plate of watermelon prior to the contest to see how much of the watermelon that they are able to eat and then time the contest. We did about five minutes, which was perfect for kids and families. Our next game is Let Freedom Fly. This is such a fun game and it's super easy to make. You will need a very large box that large enough to make a pretty good size opening for our box. We used an eight inch high by 14 inch wide opening for a nine inch Frisbee. If you have a smaller Frisbee or disc, you won't need quite as large as the box as we did. Go ahead and decorate that box and then try to see how many Frisbees you can get inside the box. It's a super fun game. Our next game is Pin the Crown. This is a great game. It is played just like Pin the Tail on the Donkey, only you are trying to pin the crown on the Statue of Liberty. This is a easy game that we purchased from Etsy for very little cost, and it worked in our home printer just on regular letter sized paper, and it comes with four sheets that you tape together to make a large Statue of Liberty. It's perfect, easy, quick party game for any party with children. Check our description down below so you can get a link to the Etsy shop that we purchased this game. Our next game is Star Cornhole. This game is used by decorating our cornhole game with patriotic stars and using large foam sheet stars from the Dollar Tree rather than bean bags. It is a great fun game. You do need to play, play standing slightly closer because the foam sheets are lighter, but it was still so much fun and we loved playing Star Cornhole. Our next game is the Nerf Shot game. For this game, you will need patriotic cups that you set right, up in a pyramid shape and a Nerf gun. Have guests right, stand at a designated area and see if they are able to shoot down the cups. Huh. You did it! Our next game is the sack race. This is such a fun Go. summer game to have at any summer picnic or party. You will need sack race sacks and uh, designated areas for the jumpers and just have a great time. Uh, we gotta win. Our next game is the firework ring toss. To make our firework ring toss, you can buy something pre-purchased and use that or you can make something to make this firework ring toss. We are going to be using some type of a Pringles or potato chip uh, can that we cleaned out. Then we're going to need some type of patriotic paper that we will be gluing on the outside. So once you have this covered with paper, you'll need something to weigh it down if you're doing it outside. So we're just gonna be using these rocks from the Dollar Tree and putting them inside of our ring toss. Just a few will work. And then on our lid, we've gone ahead and drilled a hole and we got this from the floral section and we will just be poking that in through there and we will be securing it with a little bit of our glue. So it slide, hold it nice and straight while it, the glue kind of sets. And we will just put it the lid on and we have our firework ring toss ready to play. Alternatively, you can also use a piece of pipe cleaner and a small bit of tinsel that you hot glue onto the lid of the Pringle jar. Thank you so much for watching our video on our 4th of July party games. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe to Mom Time for weekly content.